Okay, so now you've got all your telephone numbers all programmed in. Now we're ready to put the message in. Now, don't forget that we've still got the machine on the set position in the back. Remember that little black switch I showed you? It's still in the set position, which is showing that single LED dot just there. So now we're ready to put the, uh, the message in. Now, in your book, it shows you exactly what to say. Now there are two options, and you must choose one of these two options, okay? You can't just go and make your own message up. You need to choose either option one or option two. Now, option two is basically if you've got a key safe lock somewhere outside with a code, uh, you can place that information onto the message for the, uh, if the ambulance or, or your neighbors or friends turn up, they can get your spare keys and get in. Uh, option one is just your standard message. You must choose one of these two options. All right, now I'm gonna do option one now just to show you how it all works, but Come in here again and I'll show you what we have to do. So once again, we pick up our handset. We're going to push the talk button as we're going to make a normal phone call. Remember, there will be no dial tone. So don't worry about that, quite normal. That's what we want for programming this. Now, I'm just gonna make up a name and address. So uh, listen to this and what we need to do is basically push the star and the six button. Now you get 45 seconds to record this message, so I'll record this right now. So star six. This is Darren from Six Lake Street, South Australia, Melrose Park. I have activated my Care Alert Smart Dialer and may need emergency help. Push the star key on your phone to try and speak with me. If you do not receive my response, then please take action to ensure my well-being. Should this message reach the emergency services, please connect this call to the ambulance. Repeating again, my name is Darren Steele of 6 Lake Street, Melrose Park, South Australia. This message is repeated twice. Push the star key now to try and speak with me. We then push the hash button to save that into the dialer. Now, to listen back to your message, we're going to push star seven. And you can just listen back. I'll put it on loudspeaker. So you can listen back on your message and make sure that it's okay. Now, it, you don't have to do this yourself, okay? If you wanna get a friend or a family or even your neighbor to record this for you, not a problem. It doesn't have to be your voice that records this message. Uh, and of course, if you make a mistake, it's very easy. You just push the star six again and re-record a message. So don't worry about it, it's not that scary. Uh, also, that's the same with the numbers too, which I probably forgot to mention. If you need to change numbers or if you make a mistake with the numbers, just redo the steps that we've shown you. So that's basically how we record a message on there. Now also in your booklet, you will find a tear off sheet like this, okay? This here, basically you hand to the people that you've got dialed into your, or programmed into your dialer. You just tear one off, give it to them, and it shows them how the care alert works and what to do if they receive the emergency call if you activate the care alert. So now your numbers are programmed in, your voicemail's programmed in, we're ready to start testing it.